Welcome back to another glorious day on the Finca. Another not a cloud in the sky, super hot day. Um, so much so, we're, we're not doing any work on the stable today. It is just far too hot and it's killing us. The heat is absolutely debilitating. Um, it's exhausting and we're not, we're not making ourselves ill for something that we don't need to do. So yeah, it's like, it's like a 35, 37 degrees every day. That's the high 90s, um, 100 plus Fahrenheit every single day. And this weekend, again, we've got the third heat wave of the year coming in. Go away, fly. And it's forecast to be 40 degrees plus again. Um, so, yeah, um, it's not actually normally this hot in the summer here. It's usually hot and sunny. But normally we get highs of around um, 32. Yeah. It's sort of average high temperature in July and August. Um, July's are, te um, you know, traditionally flies you can it's 10 men fly again um hotter than august believe it or not um so hopefully in august it might cool down a little bit but the other thing we got the problems you get in spain in august the whole country closes down that's it everyone goes on holiday um <laughs> done even the the builders merchants he's shut from um the first of august till the 15th and then from the 16th to the end of the month is only open a couple of hours in the morning so anything we need to get before then or we anticipate that we might need we need to get it before the end of the month which is well I've still got 10 days yet so yeah so that's that's about it really um we've got some some water issues well we've had some, not issues but some water things we want to get done because there's always things to do here and another thing as well while i'm waffling on <laughs> um, we know it, 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 you know the channel's about Finca life and res restoration of the Finca and we haven't actually been doing a lot of restoration um, recently for all the new subscribers who are probably confused by because of none of this going on um, we've got we've basically done ourselves a, a bathroom and a bedroom that are clean and tidy in the apartment which is up there um, that we we can stay in and you know we've got a bit of bit of cleanness up there the rest of the house is just a building site but because we've got these rescue animals and we've committed to them especially the goat and the donkey um, and the dogs which we committed to like a long long time before you know weeks before weeks ago and we needed to get these this accommodation done for them as well um, but as soon as it's done it's back again um, we will be carrying on with the thing we're going to, to make our lives a bit more comfortable then so anyway what else have we got going on um well i'm off to the vets this afternoon with the boys um to get them chipped in spain it is a legal requirement for your animals to be chipped and registered um so yeah i've gotten put them into four o'clock for that and obviously they're going to need inoculations and because they're boys and they're getting a bit frisky we need to talk about getting them castrated at some point as well but i think probably Calm they're a little bit, a bit too young at the moment they're five months on wednesday tomorrow five months old tomorrow and um, so they're probably a little bit young and um, but that's something that we need to also discuss with the vet so yeah that's me this afternoon um, and in the meantime, I'm just doing some general tidying because at the end of the day, it's, we're living here and it's like any house, it gets dirty. So es Especially with the, the, all the dust and stuff that's yeah. about. It's, it's horrendous, you know, because it is a dusty place. And even outside, you know, the whole area, is, it, does, it hasn't rained now for, I think it's 31 days. Um, so the ground outside is just, so the wind blows and, and you just got clouds of dust yeah. blowing around. Yeah, so just general housework for me today and then the vets this afternoon. Nothing exciting, but that's life. <laughs> so <Finger> life. <laughs> let's crack on with the bits we've got to do. You may remember the other day, um, we planted out the brassicas that we want for winter and the salads that we want for summer. Um, well, I'm pleased to say every single one of them has come up in like five days. And um, because of where it's situated, it only gets about an hour of sunshine, um, very late afternoon, they seem to be doing really well. Um, so, yeah, maybe we've got a bit of a result there. Oh, we'll keep you posted on that. If you remember, a couple of weeks ago, um, I, we, we discovered a little water leak on the tank, and um, I built this 
dip um, level level indicator uh, to tell us how much was in it. So to help me identify whereabouts on the tank the leak was. Um, well, last we use about we've been using last week we used about a thousand liters of water. Um, that was from five thousand. Uh, sorry, from six thousand, which I put in it. If you remember, it went down to five thousand in a week. Now this week, uh, exactly a week later, we've only used about probably eight hundred because the four thousand mark is still well showing, and we pretty much use this, the same amount of water every single week. Um, so we reckon about eight hundred liters there. And um, we've probably used more this week because we've been filling the dog baths up from, from the tap we put on outside as well. Um, so that tells me that the leak is somewhere between 7,000 and 5,000 litres. So at some point I can either have a look at that and try to seal it up, um, give it another coat of resin fiberglass at that level, or just live with it at 5,000 litre capacity and see how that goes. Um, but all in all, generally not too bad. It looks like we lose about 200 litres in a week on that, on that highest point. Um, so yeah, fantastic. I think I might actually fill it up to the full 7,000. Now I've got an idea. I may leave it another week. Yeah, um, see what we use in the next seven days. Um, and then we should have enough in the other deposit to fill it right up and then get a clearer picture. Yeah, the gauge is working, it's great, hey? <laughs> also today, while I'm in here, I've just changed sides. Um, I want to change these filters on the water. Um, this is a 5 micron filter. So it just filters out particles, big ones. This is a 1 micron filter, which filters out smaller particles, obviously. And this is a charcoal carbon whatever filter that filters out nastiness. Um, these two were changed, this one hasn't been changed for quite a while, but well, these two, um, and obviously they look like they do for changing because they're brown. It's really weird because this is the one we use the filters going into the tank. You can see that one. And um, it's pretty clean. That's a fire micron. <laughs> so how that one gets that dirty, um, I don't know, but it has been in a while. So today we're going to change all three of these and um, I'll make a note of the date this time and, um, and how much water goes through them because um, I think, I'm not sure if it's 10,000 litres you're supposed to change them but I'm going to read up on that as well um, So yeah, that's, that's another job to do So we've got our three replacement filters Five for one and uh, charcoal block, carbon, carbon block I think it is. Um, first thing we need to do is switch off the pump and then depressurize um, the system otherwise it'll just feel like a, a brimming fountain. So I'll do that now, do that first. Up and down, it is up and down. Well this is nice and cool in here. So the pump's off I'm going to depressurize it when we outside tap and um, be back in a minute. So once we've depressurized it, we take our little key, tie it on there. I've got containers under these because they always get a dribble so it doesn't go on the floor. Um, and you just stuck it on there and turn it like that to undo it. Here comes the dribble. There we go. Right, I'll take this outside and empty it. Right, we give the canister a swill out and then the new filter, I left it wrapped up so I didn't get them mixed up because there's no markings on the filter, only on the packaging. He just slots in there like that. Then he 
You don't have to go crazy with them. Right, I'll do these other two and then we'll show you how to bleed them out. And the difference with the carbon block filter is that it has a little rubber washer um, top and bottom. One sits in there and the other one on the top. I guess that's because this is a pretty important chemical filter and um, you don't want anything passing whereas if a bit of um, what's it called particle, particle, yeah little particles get through it's not so critical but it also if any chemicals get through more so and um, when, when we tested the water if you saw that video a few weeks ago now a few months, couple of months ago maybe these are still on these filters, so and the water tested perfect. Um, so we're pretty happy that I think I do believe that when the filters run the course, they won't pass water. But obviously, we don't want to let them get that get that blocked. Obviously, they only have a couple of quid each, so you know, we may as well do them. Um, right, so let's get him in there. Turn the water on by plugging the pump in. <laughs> you can see I'm filling up there now. There we go. Just make sure they're not leaking. On the top here, there is a little bleed screw, um, but it looks like they've filled up. Um, without trapping air anyway, probably send the air down the pipe one way or another. Um, so, yeah, all looks good. We'll just keep an eye on them because we've made it up spill water already. Um, and we're good to go again. And that's just reminding me, um, I mentioned about the pump, didn't I, a few weeks ago, a few months ago again, how it, was, it wasn't cutting itself off and running off, um, either due to having a bit of dirt in it perhaps, or because it wasn't getting used enough. Um, I took the, the pressure switch off, um, cleaned it up, and um, yeah, it's been absolutely perfect and fine ever since. So yeah, happy days on that one as well. The water's all good, it's all working. So the next thing <laughs> in our weird thinker world, um, we've just had a delivery, and it, it's a bay tree. Bay as in bay, comestibly um, edible bait the stuff you use in your spaghetti bolognese and stuff like that um, reason I've ordered a bay tree because we used to have one down at the old place great big thing it was years old and um, you only bay for your cooking or anything you just go and pick it off the tree we tried oh god tons of times to take cuttings off it and we just couldn't get one at all so in the end we bought one it comes in a box fantastic look at it it's absolutely immaculate we've actually had quite a few trees and plants this way um, from the it's a garden center not too far away and so all we're going to do is see if we can unwrap him and decide what we're going to do with him it might be a bit too hot and dry to stick him on the ground at the minute so i might just keep him in the pot and plant him out in the winter come on get on done Looks like his gift wrap, doesn't it? To present it to Sharon. In fact, I'm just going to cut this.
Tout à l'heure. Allez. Allez, c'est ce que je fais de la fin Well packed, is that for sure? Come on, get out! Excellent. I don't know if we need that, but I'll put it back in anyway. It came with it. Um, fab. So there it is, Mr. Bay. Lovely. So now we're having a bit of lunch. Um, it's almost like a normal day, not killing ourselves in the heat. Um, yeah, back to normal. What a what a nice thing. So what are we having? We've got salad. We have to have it because we've got tons and tons of tomatoes we need to use. With our own onions, um, the little onions we use in salads because they're sweet, and the big proper onion onions we use for cooking. Um, there's also lettuce in there, anchovies. We've got the remnants of the um, tortilla from the other day that we made Sunday, was it? We've got mozzarella and fresh basil, of course with a fresh baguette as well. And ali ali. Bit of an emergency on the salad dressing, we'll have to make some more out this afternoon. There's not much left. And of course, um, a glass of rosé. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. So Jessie has been united with a coffee table. It's been a while, bless her. And we've got our new little bay plant on top. That's the aloe vera, just need a bit of pruning. It'll make our skin soft. Look at her, she's very happy there. Is that nice Jessie? Baby, you're going to the vet. You're going for your chips, aren't you? are going for your chips. Is it exciting? Yes, come on, let's get you installed in the car. There you go, Bruce is being quite good on his lead, actually. They're not very good, they get it all caught around the legs and everything. Come here, then. Come here. <laughs> They're trying to teach them slowly. They're not very fast learners. You're going that way, then. Come on, we're going to the vet. That way. Boys. We're going to the vet. Come on then. This way, Bruce. Come see. Alley up. Right, so we're getting in the car. Well, they're in. Bruce, you went bye bye. You're good boys. We've got the aircon on for you. It'll soon be cool. Right, but they're in the car. We're off to the vet. <laughs> we're back from the vet. And here they come. Oh, good boys. You've been good boys, haven't you? You've been good boys. Come on, Brucey. You're fine, <laughs> Come on, then. This way. Come on, then. Have a run. Brucey. Good boy. Okay. So, we've been to the vets. We are now the proud owners of two pet passports. Um, they've been chipped today, they've been wormed, they've had their first lot of vaccinations. Um, we're back on the 3rd of August for the second lot of vaccinations and their second worming. And then on the 17th of August they go for their rabies jab and castration. Bless them, it was so good. Brucey didn't want to go into the vets, we had to drag him, but then he didn't want to leave, we had to drag him out as well. Um, they're eating olives. They're eating olives, the old olive stones. I'm sure they don't taste very nice, but they seem to be here. Uh, every time I bring them out, they make a beeline for these olive stones, so I don't know, but I'm going to give them some dinner anyway now. But yeah, they were such good boys. Pleased we've got them all sorted. Um, and that's it for today, folks. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. The heat's so debilitating at the moment, we couldn't continue work on the shelter today. Andy was really feeling it this morning and there's no point killing ourselves. In the meantime, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.